Hello and welcome to today's video on how to do investing. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Wednesday's market roundup. So, I go over five altcoins and Bitcoin, my thoughts on them, a couple trade setups that I'm seeing right now, and some things that you should be looking at. Um, I have documents for all of the charts that I have in the video description, so go ahead and check that out. So, let's get right into this. Alright, so I'm at my screen here, and as usual, you can get this document in the description, but we'll go ahead and start with NXT. First coin on my list. And NXT is a really good one. As you can see, we have ascending support here on the one hour candle. Um, if I enter this trade, I will be looking to enter in this little zone right here. But I personal personally probably won't actually end up trading this one um, I just wanted to show you guys the setup because it was heavily requested I already have some currently but I was just showing you the setup if you would like to buy go ahead and buy in this range right here um, and look to be selling at about 30 percent depending on your trading plan but that's how I would trade NXT it's definitely an elite a little descending triangle here and it has ascending support, so just be watching for it um, to break either direction, up or down. But I would have a pretty tight stop loss on that one. Alright, cool. Now let's go ahead and check out Strat. Again, one hour candlesticks. And again, descending resistance and ascending support. We'll see if this is the right support here. I'm going to be testing with a little 5% tight stop. Entering right here on Strat. And then waiting to see the breakout of this point to confirm that the move will continue going. So again, this is Stratus 1 hour. And I see it breaking out above this resistance here. And continuing on the bull move but I'm waiting for that to occur if it breaks below here I will be trying to catch another entry down here at the 618 again so yeah um, strat that's my plan LTC LTC I'm um, going to be waiting to see if we continue to descend in this triangle if we do break anything above 0.017, I'll be right back in Litecoin because it's got a lot of upward momentum and it will break previous highs um, and possibly go to a new all-time high maybe. We'll see. I think that it's got a lot of buy support. So yeah, I just see all this trending support right here and then it caught again right here and a lot of buyers came in. But um, there is a lot of bag holders from this SegWit thing here. so. I do see a possible bounce down to this area though like I said if we break above 17 I'm back right back in so 1718 zone I'm right back in Litecoin so yeah that's one hour candlesticks on Poloniex um, let's go ahead and check out DGB DGB is one of my biggest positions here's trending support um, and I've just been buying right here along this support line here on DGB at about 1100 Satoshi. Uh, I see this breaking up to about 2200 Satoshi and then breaking even higher after that. So we'll see how this plays out exactly. But right now I've been buying on the support ascending, um, ascending support here. So All right, now let's check out XRP, another one of my biggest positions. Um, I'm still holding from purchases in the panic. I'm still holding from purchases in this panic. And I actually purchased more again today in this panic. I've just been accumulating as much XRP as possible. And um, I see this breaking new new all-time highs. So this is one of my biggest positions personally. We've just been bouncing off support very nicely. And it's a really good setup. And it's not like Dash with any big, huge, weird wick days that like... Um, can stop you out really easily like there's less chance of getting stopped out because there's a lot of volume and it's a good project and it has another leg up so I'm really really long XRP personally um, and you can go ahead and do that too if you like now let's go ahead and check out Bitcoin um, Bitcoin is an inverse head and shoulders 
and if as long so long as we break above 2800 2900 and so long as we can break 3k that psychological resistance then bitcoin will be a huge major bull move um and it looks like it's headed that way now so keep an eye on it but i'm bullish bitcoin and i do think it will break up above 3k so be watching for it and um i'm long on the mothership still uh what my entry was right here i bought a bunch more again at 2200 like 10k all right so um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and update that video for chart sting now let's see how much market capitalization we have now refresh the market cap Ooh, 100 11 billion 67 million nine hundred ninety eight thousand four hundred and forty or twenty two dollars that's quite a bit of money we're up from last week ten billion dollars give or take a little bit so that's exciting um, let's see here oh editing Yeah, so 11 billion. Let's check out 24 hour volume. Ooh, 24 hour vo volume is up a billion dollars from last week. Things still look like they're picking up um, very nicely. Seven hundred fifty-four currencies. Ooh, we're picking up on that. Now there's seven hundred sixty-two, so we're still up in that to total assets. 129 so we're up in total assets too so we just keep having more and more of those here's my discord link if you want to join it here's my donation links go ahead and check that out um, but things are looking really good in the crypto markets and uh, I wanted to quickly just show you this market capitalization analysis I think that we're in this channel and that we're gonna hold in this channel nice and strong because uh, crypto is still really young, so I think total market capitalization is going to keep going up. Um, by the way, I'm out of Ethereum, too. I wanted to mention that. Um, I've been shorting Ethereum since the top. You can look on my trading view. So I just think that it's going to continue on this bear move, so I wanted to mention that to you guys. But yeah, that's pretty much my roundup for today on this good old Wednesday, June 21st. Thank you for watching today's video on High Altitude Investing. Please follow me on Twitter at High Altitude IMV. Go ahead and hit that like button, that share. Comment if you have any questions, and I will catch you guys in the next one. As always, stay fresh.